Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I know it's been a while since our last video here, and I want to uh, apologize for that. I got a co uh, full derby to upload yet uh, from Labor Day weekend, and I just want to apologize for uh, being so long. You know, I went started school again, started a new job, and I just, to be honest, haven't had time for derby. But I did not forget about you guys, and I'm gonna try to get back into it more rhythmically here. As you can see, uh, it looks like we started stripping another car, which is the surprise. That would be correct. Now, I did not, obviously you guys know me, I would have gotten you an update before I started stripping it. I did not start stripping this car. A buddy of mine had this car, he's gonna derby it, got bored of it. Uh, gave up, gave me the car with all the strip parts inside of it already. So that's what that is, that's all the pieces that they had inside of it. Um, this is a uh, 1992 Ford Mustang Fox Body. Now, any of y'all that know me, you know Fox Bodies, station wagons like the Plymouth over here, and uh, which, by the way, speaking of the Plymouth, I know I owe you guys an update on that, and I will be getting that up probably today as well. Fox Body, uh, T-Top Camaro, and uh, wagons were my three cars that I wanted to run before the end of my career, and uh, I have two of them now. So, uh, we'll have to get some new goals then. Uh, this is a 1992 Fox Body 4 cylinder. It's going to be running our welded compact class. Um, the weird thing about this is it's a 4 cylinder with 8 wire, 8 plugs. It's the uh, 2 3 Ford. You can see I got the firing order laying here. Um, the reason I have the firing order is uh, well, first off, this car is very rot. Like, there's a lot of rust. You can see the rear quarter here is gone. Um, but the bad part is if we crawl under it and look at the Univati, the Univati's rust, rusty. I mean, it's it's actually gone right here above me. Right here, it's gone. But further up, it's solid dish. It's going to get plated. The other side looks the same. Um, this is why the car was taken off the road. Uh, um, the floor at some point was fixed under the carpeting up front there which I do know about um, I'm almost done stripping it I got a little bit to do yet the heat didn't get done plus you know I'm gonna pull the front clip off of it um, but the reason I have the firing order sheet laying here is this car runs like crap now it does run but it runs like crap I'm going to show you what I mean here. It shakes and rattles and rolls and... Like there, it just shut off. I didn't even do anything. See? So it runs, but it has a massive miss. Um which I'm gonna try to fix today. Now, the goal date for this car is the April Derby. So whatever that is, April 25th, April 24th, somewhere in there. Um, we quite possibly could have some more cars coming this year yet before winter to get derby. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but uh, this is it. That's it. pretty much it, guys. This is a new update on a new derby car for 2016. I'm going to try to get you more updates on this one than I did on the Falcon because I only got three out of that one. I'm going to try to keep you updated on this. And uh, I also have to record an update for the Plymouth at some point because you guys have been asking for that for a while. And I apologize for that. I just haven't, like I said, I haven't had time. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe, like, and uh this is a completely non-derby note, but I have a 1974 Yamaha Trials TY250 here. Two-stroke. Runs, but uh, I think the points need to clean. It backfires a lot. I'm looking for 700 bucks out of this, you guys. If you guys know anybody that would uh, be interested in buying this, shoot me an email, leave a comment on Facebook. But uh, I need to get rid of that. So uh, if you guys uh, like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.